Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, this is Eddie, that's Lemon Pest on the left hand side, and today we're back with some more Starfield. And our first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and speak to Doc Manning. You so. Are the greatest. No. <sighs> better than the greatest. Let's get into it. I know that's grammatically impossible, but somehow you managed to do it. Lemon Pest, you are a concerning little soul, are you not, my dear? All right, let's rock and roll, Buckaroo. We need to go and speak to Doc Manning and see what is going on, and then, who knows? Haha, -ha, here we are, marvellous. We also want to find out her story. Welcome, off to the hmm. Hotel She's got a story, and I want to know what it is. Plenty of space available. Okay. Um, come on, Lemon Pest. Let's go. Doc Manning. Here we come. In good old Reliant Medical here. Marvellous. Terran Masters has run into some trouble. Oh. Word of the wise. Tevin and Nastas, eh? Mm, wonder who that is. Okay. Yon has a lot of corruption, but little do they know. Wickedness repels off you like two opposing magnets. Oh, Lemon Pest, you, you are yeah. so deluded, my dear. Like it's quite weak. funny. My whole body okay. feels like uh, Hello, Doc Hello. Manning. Hope you're feeling well I, today. Um, yeah, I'm alright. I'm alright. Can I... Hello? Hello? Oh my goodness. Another poor soul. Uh, alright. Tell me what happened to you. Is it an Aurora overdose? Something else, perhaps? Uh, what are you trying to say? I'm looking fine. The thick boy. Um. Yes. Our Aurora... Overdose is com a common problem here. Could you? Well, I suppose you could. It's a drug, isn't it? Okay. Unfortunately, yes. What happens? You wonder? see, the more Aurora that a user absorbs, the more resistance their body builds up to its active ingredients. That means the user needs larger and larger doses in order to feel its full effect. Eventually, the doses get so incredibly large, the user's nervous system simply can't handle the overload. Well, um... I'm here to purchase some medical supplies, actually. Oh, well, you're certainly welcome to take a look, but I'm afraid we're dangerously low on supplies. Oh. Um. Hmm. It's unusual for a medical supply company. I can assure you it isn't by choice. Oh. You see, I'm a bit... at odds with the current administrator of Neon. His drug is turning the streets into a graveyard, and he doesn't seem to care. Mm. We've argued about it on more than one occasion. And all he's done is try to persuade me to quit. Thinning out my supply chain is his newest tactic. Well, I don't know, mate. It's one of those, he can make money out of it, so he isn't going to give it up easy. Um, yeah. There's got to be a way to get round his blockade. There is, actually. Okay. But it requires outside assistance. Enter. At this point... I've resorted to asking anyone that has a ship registered outside of the Voli system to bring me medical supplies. I pay them for the supplies, of course, but it's the only way I can sneak them past Bayou's people at the spaceport. Now, if there's anything else I can do for you, anything at all, you just let me know. I can do it. That would be amazingly helpful. It's a relief to meet someone who gives a damn about anyone other than themselves for a change. Well, I don't know if oh, go that far. And I'll pay you directly for the supplies, of course. It's the only way I can sneak them past Bayou's people at the spaceport. All right. Well, um, hmm. <sighs> it's ridiculous you had to resort to smuggling. Let's be real. There's nothing else to be done about it. These people need my help. Anyway, I have a contact over at the clinic in the Narian system. Abby Edding? She's one of the nurses there. She'll get you started. Thank you so much for doing this. You have no idea how helpful it'll be for the poor folk that live in Ebside. You know, it's kind of stupid not letting him get medical supplies, because if you think about it, if people get sick from it and they die, they won't be able to buy any more. So you'll be cutting off your own supply line. That just shows how stupid Bayou is. He was stupid in the last universe, and he's stupid in this one. Uh, here's a flyer, by the way. I wouldn't mind a bit of extra traffic as long as the supplies allow for it. A few extra credits never hurt. Nope, true. Um, am I alright? 
Let me look you over. Yeah, check me out, man. You seem in perfect health to me. But a little rest and relaxation might help if you're feeling off. Okay. Thought I'd better check. Try not to get hurt out there. Oh, I won't. Don't you worry. I mean, if, I don't know what I was thinking. Look at this fine specimen of a man. Oh my goodness. So thick. Beautiful. <laughs> hmm. Feels a little bit like, um... When Markiplier was thirsting after Lady Demetrescu in uh, Resident Evil. Except it's me thirsting after the thick boy. Look at that thick boy run. <laughs> I'm being very silly today. You will have to forgive me. It's been a funny old day. Okay. Oh, missed. Come on now. And here we are. Lemon pest. This is, this is scientific research, right here. It may not look like it, but this is... Ooh, I don't even need them. Don't even need them. What's, what's, what's... Look at all these pills and bottles and stuff. My god, somebody, somebody's got a problem. Ooh, oh, I can just take the creds. I mean, alright. I will just take the creds, because, hey, why not? Hookah hose, hookah canister? Nah, I don't. I don't think so. Ma'am, I'm just a girl. I'm not blaming you for rent. Oh. Dr. Salvato, how long have you been here? Uh, about a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. I will be making it very clear to your superiors that lives are at stake, and the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs, someone else will. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. Thank you, Dr. Salvato. You may return to your duties. Oh, dear. Dude, what did you do, man? Okay. So, uh, this ship of yours, does it take standard, uh, you know what? We'll figure it out. No, you won't. You won't go anywhere near it, trust me, dude. You break it, you bought it. That's the rules. And you can't afford it, trust me. It's worth a small fortune, I imagine. I've never actually looked up the value of, of my ship. I should do. Ah, okay. Thanks for delivering critical supplies. Would be nice to hear once in a while. Well, dude. I hate this delivery run. Can't ever get here fast enough. Well, then, just, I don't know, we'll take a different shift or something. Ooh, Constellation Guide. Basic and advanced science skills unlocked 2% faster on top of any other bonuses. Brilliant. Oh my god. Got anything else back here, dude? Don't touch my ship, man. I love you, yeah? <laughs> Hello, Just who are you? Just one quiet day. Not too much to ask for. Yes. Alright. Uh, so we need to find this nurse lady. Secure wing. Okay. No. Distraction Avenue, and we're not about it. You we... had a chance to talk to Dr. Cassidy. Really fun guy. I'm sure he is. Um, I'm looking for a so nurse. Oh! Here you are. Hello. Uh, Abby. Need something? Um, yes. Joseph Manning sent me to pick up some medical supplies. Hey, let's keep our voices down. I said it quietly. The clinic doesn't exactly know I'm giving its supplies away. That being said, I've been expecting someone soon. I've heard Bayou really has a vice grip on Neon right now. I have some supplies I can give you. Should be more than enough for now, and it shouldn't draw any suspicion from the clinic. I'll have them loaded onto your ship. I mean, you could give us a few extras, man. Come on now. Sorry. I can't do that. Come on. This is the most I can give you without drawing suspicion. Come on. You know these thick ties look awesome. There's no reason for us to have a problem, is there? I hear you. Um, hmm. That's what I like to hear. I'm trying to be reasonable here. Me too. Um, I mean, I'm sure we can work something out. Yeah. Jeez. I hope so. Oh, I really shouldn't do this. If the clinic finds out, they won't. They won't. All right. You win. You're very persuasive. 
I can throw in a few extra supplies, but I'm not going to make this a regular thing, okay? They'll be loaded onto your ship. See? Couldn't resist. Couldn't resist, could she? Mind your step. And who could? The thick boy. Oof. All right. Is there anything else here? Can I hide A there? couple of years on duty here, and anyone would be qualified to run any other hospital in the settled systems. Sure they would. Okay, I don't, I don't want that. Bathroom. Please dispose of contaminated items in the biohazard containers. No thanks. Not, not part of my day. VIP wing. Can't go in there. Okay. What's in here? Staff area. Can I come in? Hello? I know I'm not staff, but... Well, I'm the law. There you go. Cake. Anything else here? Ah. Just the usual old garbage, by the looks of it. Well, do you know what? Do you know what? I think, um... Oh, never a dull moment. No, that's true. Storage. Hey, storage. Hello? Cool. Do you know what? Come on, Lemon Pest, let's uh, go and take these supplies back to Doc Manning. I think he was pretty desperate for them. And I don't want to keep him waiting. It feels like I've been waiting forever. Well, you probably you have. You ever hear that one about the orphan and the platypus? What? Funny stuff. Can't really remember it. Well, what was the point in mentioning it, then? You weirdo. Okay. Excuse me. Thank you. And here we are. Hey, dude, I got some good news for you. Hello. Hope you're feeling well today. I got the medical supplies for you. I was even able to convince Abby to throw in some extras. Fantastic. Woo. That'll really help out around here. Thanks for everything. These supplies will be put to good use. Here, take this. I threw in a bit extra for you, since you really came through for me. Kablam, look at that. As ever, Captain. Oh, well, thank you. I do appreciate that type of comment, Lemon Pest. It's very good of you. Tevin Anastas. I'm very curious about this Tevin Anastas. Is he... He or she? Could be a woman, maybe? It's like they're over here. Excuse me. Thank you. Yep. Excuse me. You'd better watch out. The Emporium. Okay. So, why did you drag me in here? You said you wanted to buy something nice for your girlfriend, so here we are. I mean, I don't think it's all of our items are inherited guaranteed. a fortune. Be of the highest this is way out of my price range. Oh, God. Hey, you're the one that told me she has expensive tastes. What's up? <laughs> there's expensive, and then I there's mean, the Emporium. Uh, this place is in a class all by itself. Yeah, hey, I dude. guess. <sighs> are you sure you're in the right place? You certainly don't look like one of her usual clientele. What are you trying to say, man? Huh? You don't normally get fantastically fabulous looking thick boys in here. Um. Huh. Yeah, what does your usual clientele look like? I cater to the high end client. Okay. Affluent, intelligent, and successful. In Neon. That would be what we call the upper 10%. Well, if you could see my bank account, you would think I was in the upper 1%, my dear. Yeah, there's no need to insult me when I walk through the door. Yes, you're right. Of course. Of course. My apologies. Please forgive my disrespect. We have quite a few, shall we say, thugs that find their way into my establishment and create a disturbance. In fact, there's a particular Seoka member who calls himself Headlock, who repeatedly torments me by damaging my goons. Oh, he sounds like a bit of a butthole. Um, okay. Hmm. Take him out. You mean kill him? Yeah. Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't know how. I've never been terribly good at that sort of thing. Anyway, I've already taken up too much of your valuable time. Was there anything else I could help you with? Um... I could do it. Oh my goodness, that's such a relief. You have no idea. Thank you for accepting my offer. You didn't offer anything Headlock's yet. Headlock's quite a dangerous gentleman. I believe you can find him hanging out somewhere in Epside near Frankie's Grab and Go. Yeah, don't worry about that. Um, 
I don't think it'll be a problem. You say that, but Seoka aren't exactly pushovers when it comes to this sort of thing. So you better watch your ass. Oh. Anyway, that's really I won't really be the only one, mate. Head back here when you've taken care of the situation. Good luck. Here's a flyer. Oh? Well, maybe I'll give it some thought. Maybe. Fair enough. Um... Yeah, what you got for sale? I'm sure you'll find the perfect gift. I'm not looking for any gifts. Uh, notes? What's this note? Solomon's calculations? Curiosity, maybe. Take that. What have you got in here? Any, any digipics? No, nothing of really much interest. Well, see you later. It was good to have you in my shop. Farewell. Yes, farewell. I mean, who wouldn't be watching my butt? I know you do, Lemon Pest. I've seen you. I've caught you in the act. Frankie's grab and go. I wonder who, what snacks she's got. Food. Grub for me, please. Frankie's grab and go. Hello. What'll it be? Um. You hello. lost, kiddo. No. Um, last I checked was an adult. Ah, just something I call everyone. Nothing to get worked up over. Yeah, well. I had some high hopes for this shop back when my husband and I opened it a while back. These days, if you ain't a regular, you're usually trouble. Oh, I don't know about that. Um, did something happen? Of course, something happened. Ain't that always the case? Let's just say those hopes died a long time ago, and there ain't no reviving them. Wow. All right. I mean, you could open a shop in New Atlantis or Sidonia if you don't like trouble. <laughs> and live in a UC? No thanks. All right. Besides, I ain't about to let a few undesirables chase me away from what I've built here. Well, um, hmm... Yeah, what type of people are your non-regular customers? Mostly tied up in those good-for-nothing gangs. Those disciples and strikers always fighting over who gets to run the place. And not giving a damn over whose lives they ruin. Huh. Well, I don't know. Uh, yeah, do you want this flyer? Hmm. <laughs> no, thank you. Wow, rude. Um... Yeah, I'm looking for a thug named Headlock. Never heard of him. Really? Now, are you going to buy something or just annoy me all day? Ooh, somebody's getting a little touchy. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll hang around until Headlock shows up. <sighs> this city will be the death of me. Yeah, I know Headlock can't stand them. And I heard some of the other Sioka can't either. No. That boy doesn't know how to keep himself out of trouble. What'd he do this time? Being an irritant. He's been terrorizing the Emporium. Hmm. Well, if any place should be terrorized, it may as well be the Emporium. Why's that? In any case, if you're so desperate to find him, he and his friends are probably hanging out in Warehouse 4 or somewhere near there. I gotta ask, what are you gonna do with him? Um, hmm. That's my business. You're right. And you're standing in mine. You better watch your tone. Ooh, I've quick, got give me scales. To say to you. you have your info, so either beat it or buy something. Well, you know what? Let's have a look. Hopefully it's something you need. Oh, I'll take your digipics. Uh, what have we got in? Ch Chasm bass oil. Do you know what? We're taking that too. Ah. Uh. Any med packs in here? No. Uh, okay. Uh, what about ammo? What have you got here? Ah. Weapons, the usual garbage. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, thanks. See you around. Not if I see you first. Okay. I'm coming, boys. I'm coming to hoop your butt. Eddie is on the case. Excuse me. Madame Savages. I like Madame Savages. 
That is quite the outfit, madam. I, I rather like it. Okay, so these boys are going to be in here, are they? Well, Lemon Pest, are you there? Let's uh, reload our weps first, shall we? Have a weps. We're going to go in quiet. We're going to go in quiet here. Okay. Lemon Pest. Can I come and just talk to him? Oh, I can. There you go. Let's see if we can persuade this little idiot to stop messing around. Oh, hello. You try anything, you're dead. Oh, please don't tempt me. Who the it's hell too you? easy. Your worst who nightmare. Do we have here. You here for business or to get your head caved in? Oh, kitten. Kitten, you need to leave the Emporium alone. Is that so? Yes, it is. I'm not just some low-life thug anymore. I'm with the Sioka now. You mess with me, you'll mess with the whole syndicate, and that won't end well for you. Interestingly, I don't think they're happy with you either. What gang were you in before you joined the Sioka? Hmm. The Ebside Strikers. Interesting. I ran with them for a good long while, but then it just became embarrassing. Wow. I couldn't even feed myself when I was with them. Clawed myself out of the gutter, and Sioka took notice. My talents were being squandered with the strikers. I was too good for them. Really? Well, maybe the Ebside strikers were just sick of you and wanted you to leave? Oh, so you think you're funny, huh? I don't Keep think I know. talking like that, and I'll make sure you're eating trawl through a tube. Ooh, quaking so in my scales. On, hot Give me a reason why I should leave Tevin and his shitty little store alone. Because you're looking at this thick boy right here. And he will whip your butt. Go on, enlighten me. But don't waste my time. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you if you don't listen to me. I'm not sure how much more blunt I can be. Wow, do you see how I'm shaking with fear? Oh wait, no I'm not. Hmm. Well, if you keep trashing all the shops, you won't be able to buy anything from anywhere. In fact, no. If you keep going down this road, you're not going to survive. <sighs> Looking over your shoulder in neon can get old. Mm. It'd be even worse if I'm there. Uh... Yeah, you keep trashing all the shops, you won't be able to buy anything from anywhere. I don't think things would be that extreme, but I guess I get your point. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying that. What the hell is she doing? It kills me to say this, but I see your point. Good. Fine. We won't go around to the Emporium any longer. Good. Then we're done here. I'll be on my way. Whatever. Next time I might not be so nice. Ditto. Back off. I'm sorry, you got right I in my grill there. Dirt on your sh that was a good talk. It'll be hard to top it, but you always manage. Why are you walking like you've you've done something? Stinky in your trousers. Good lord. Alright. Well. Let's see if we can... If we can angle this. Oh, come on. There we go. Well, there you go, boys. In a shop alone. Good. I hope you do. It's in your best interest, after all. Is there anything else up here? Any other goods that I can uh, half inch, so to speak? No, doesn't look like it. Oh, okay. I mean, I am a little snacky. But, well. Wow. <laughs> what the hell is that? Smoked salmon? I'm just going to take your food, just because I can. Mwa ha ha. Goodbye. Idiots. Ugh. The persuasive powers of the thick boy never cease to amaze. Excuse me. I hope you pay well, dude. Well, yes. Um, Can I help you? I took care of Headlock. He won't be messing with you anymore. Oh my! Now that is a true relief. I thought I would never be rid of him. Well, there you go. I'm not one to get involved with the rabble. 
So I'm glad you came along when you did. Thank you for your help. 3,000 creds, not bad. Okay, well... Please visit us again if you're in the market for luxury items. Oh, suddenly now I'm good enough, eh? Now that I've done your task for Look, you. What's man, this? Moby Dick. Have no, a thank heart. You. I can't be right Okay, I think we're going to pay Kelcourt a visit, actually, while we're here. Do a little bit more of uh, Ryujin's jobs. Kelcor and Core Kinetics. Cool. Sky Sweet Penthouse. Oh, yeah. Here we are. Hello. If you're here to buy, I'm afraid we only sell direct to retailers. Again. Look, you can tell Mr. Okaribo that I'm doing everything I can. Blood from a stone, if you'll pardon the expression. Uh, you must have me confused with someone else. Oh. oh I'm afraid I've stepped right into it again. Damn. You aren't well. here about Mr. Okadibo's debt to Kelcor. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Let me start over. My name's Clover McKenna, but you can call me Chloe. Sorry for me outburst. Um, okay. So, yeah, why would he hire people to represent him? I'm not sure. I think he's afraid that I won't be here and he'll have to deal with my father. Someone who has a lot less patience than I do. Just a few weeks ago, he paid some poor fella to come up here and request a bit more time to pay back his debt. So I snapped at you like that. I thought he'd done it again. Well, I mean... Maybe I should have been wearing a wet name tag, yeah. The thick boy! <laughs> yeah, maybe you should have, for my sake. This mess with Mr. Okadibo over at the Neon Mining League has really thrown me off my game. Um, I mean... Yeah, it must be a hell of a mess. If only you knew. Mr. Okadibo owes a substantial debt to Keltcor. I've given him more than enough time to try and come up with the money, but my father's patience has running out. Frankly, I don't know how much longer I can stall. Um... Yeah, I could maybe assist you in recovering it. You'd be willing to help out. Yeah. That's awfully kind of you. Um, doesn't sound very corporate to me. You sound a lot like my father. If he found out I was stolen, he'd probably disown me. Saburo, uh, I mean, Mr. Okadigo, he's one of the nicest people you'll ever meet, especially in this city. Hmm? He really needs help, but he's too proud to accept any money from me. Maybe he'd listen to someone like you? Ah, uh, maybe, you know. I could settle his debt right now. I'm worth a lot, you know. It's a substantial amount of credits. I couldn't allow you to do that. Just talk to him. Get him to accept my help. And I'll do the rest. If you can get his debt off my conscience, I'd be grateful. It's been on my mind so much I've been keeping a diary. Uh -huh. And don't worry about payment. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. McKenna always keeps that promise. Do they? Well, um, how did he rack up so much debt? When he opened the shop, he outfitted it with equipment from our company. Spent a bundle of cash he didn't have. Oh dear. Obviously business hasn't been going well, because he's fallen way behind on his payments. Opening a mining business on a world almost entirely covered in ocean probably wasn't the most savvy of business plans. I suppose he intended to cater to travelers that were passing through our system. But it's clearly backfired. A poor man. Yeah. Unless he does like deep sea mining. I think that's a thing. Um. Well, all right. Tough city. You watch yourself out there. Oh, don't worry. Nobody messes with me. I'm just, I'm just too good. Okay. What's this? Notepads. Okay. Don't mind me, folks. I'm just um. Inspecting the office. Visit? I don't know, but I gotta get out of here. I have a deadline to meet. Well, I have a, I have a work to do. Well, kind of wanna, kind of wanna, can I? Yep. Or like one of those moths. 
shipping order status. Consolidated mining. Consolidated mining. Six sisters mining. Okay. There she goes. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to Terra Brew right now. You go for it, mate. Get Whoa. yourself a coffee. You. I'm working here. We can pick up an extra for Chloe if she Kelp asks. Corp. I'm not going to say this twice. Get the hell away from me. Wow. Really? All I did was walk in the bloody room. You... Ooh. Some of these people, you know. Just one... All it would take. All it would take. You know what I'm saying? Bam. That'd be the end of it. Nobody would ever know. I kind of want to... I kind of want to take some of this stuff. But I'm not going to... Sorry, Move. I'm busy at the moment. Are you? Ooh. I have to admit, this business with Saburo is keeping me up at night. I can see how it's starting to wear on him, personally and professionally. Saburo is a good and honourable man. Pride won't allow him to accept my money, but what he doesn't understand is the game is rigged. Even in good times, variable interest rates are designed to landslide you. All I want is to give him a fair shake. I may not believe in every idea he has, but I believe in him. He just needs a financial partner who can offer some direction. Someone who has his best interests at heart. I won't lie, given my position, it may be a conflict. But my feelings for him aside, I really do want to help. Ah, I see we've got a little crush on the dude, have we? A little crush, man. Well, Can't I mean, talk, I've got a deadline coming up. Hey, Neon Knight, what's this? Permanently grants the recipe for Chem 02 Shot, which increases oxygen regeneration for a limited time. Cool! How about that, Lemon Pester? Contemplative roads, yes. Okay, well, we'll... Um... Are you supposed to be here? Yes, I am. I'm allowed. Fully allowed. Thick boy pass. So should I tell him that she she fancies him or what? <laughs> Probably not. It won't, won't make, make much difference. What? Have he's got any more um, resources. Let's report to her ladyship first. See what she has to say. See if she's happy to see us. The thick boy. Come on, Lemon Pest, that's it. Come on. There you go. A little more. Come on, buddy. You're an idiot. Right, man. Hello. This report isn't bad, but you're going to need more supporting evidence. Okay. What is it? Imogene's a stickler for details. Ah, here she is. Imogene. Well, look who survived their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? I know what you mean, but that's your missing piece. It went well. No incidents right. to report. I'll get on it. Not a single setback. <laughs> I knew you were going to be perfect for this job. Oh, hell yeah. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews. You get my drift. Oh yeah, I get it. The cleaner I get it, your yada, work, yada. the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure you understand. Yeah, that's uh, that's what it's all about. Okay, I get it. Clean work equals maximum payout. Don't worry, my work's as clean as it gets. And I hope it stays that way. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. Oh. Framing? I don't recall arts and crafts being in my job description. <laughs> and I'd argue that arts and crafts is exactly what we do here. Just on a much higher level. One of our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean, and will be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. We just need you to visit their office first, and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. Oh. Uh. Well, do you know what? They're gonna look pretty dirty. Oh, the best part is, we don't even have to fabricate this information. 
We're just exposing what Laredo would rather keep hidden. Oh. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going. There you have it. Fine, we can go to Laredo. Not a problem. Can I have an office, please? I'd like an office. Can I at least have a desk? Any of these desks free? Could this be my desk? Could I sit here? I even get a little cuddly toy. And a tea! Hey, I can handle tea. I like tea. Imogene and Yuko run a tight sheep around here. I bet they do. Well, 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 well. Another job to do. Let's go. Ah, here we go. Marvelous. Can I just have a perch in here? Yeah. Cool. rest our weary legs but we are going to leave it there for today next time we will continue onwards probably head over to aquila city plant that evidence at laredo and see what else is going on there so until next time be safe be good and look after yourselves <laughs>